Hi guys, I'm Echo. As a popular request, I will teach you how to add VRC lens to your avatar in the slowest, easiest, and friendly way possible. There's already a bunch of tutorials of how to add VRC lenses on YouTube, but people are still asking me for this tutorial, so here I am. This tutorial is main focus on people who don't know how to use Unity. So it's basic, slow, and a step-by-step -step tutorial. If you already have experience using Unity, you can follow this video, but maybe it will be a little bit boring because I will show you stuff that you probably already know. But I will put in the description the timestamp of each process so you can skip the part that you already know. A little disclaimer, this video was recorded in November last year and I wasn't able to finish it sooner because I got sick that entire month Plus, I had to go to work, my mom's birthday, Christmas, my niece's birthday, New Year. It was a really busy end of the year. So for that reason, this tutorial was made using Unity 2019. But right now, we are using 2022 for our projects. The tutorial is the exact same things for both Unity versions. So if you follow the step-by-step -step with Unity 2022, you won't get any issues. With nothing more to say, let's move forward. I will teach you the best way to set it up, in my opinion, after years using it. I will show you the different performance settings to not make your PC explode and how to change the 3D model so you can use any other model as camera. With nothing more to say, let's go with the tutorial. So for this tutorial, we're going to need a few things before we start. First, we're gonna go into Hirai Pikit Gamro, that the link is gonna be on the description, and we need to buy VRC lenses for Avatar 3.0. The asset costs just $10, and you can just buy it, and you will get the Unity package to add it to your avatar. In my case, I need to download it from Booth, because back then, when I bought it, it was only available on Booth, but it's the exact same one. Right now, the latest version is VRC lenses 1.9.1. For Avatar as an example, I'll be using the Zuichi by Cyber656 only because it's completely free and already comes with a Unity package uh, ready to upload. So in this case, imagine this is going to be your Avatar and we're going to set it up everything to this one. And the last but not less important, we're going to go into the VRChat website, you're going to log on and you're going to download the Creator Companion. With this thing, you, you can create the project and you can add different tools and unity package to make all the process more easy so for now we are gonna download all this stuff and then we are gonna go into unity so after download all the stuff that we need we are gonna go and click on the creator companion and when we are here we're gonna click on create new project select template avatar project we're gonna name it in my case we're gonna call it soichi Uichi vr sealants and we're gonna click on create project now that we are here i'm gonna import all the stuff that i need to set up the avatar probably you already have a project with your avatar so for now i'm just gonna move forward into this part when we have our avatar ready the next thing that we're gonna do is import the latest version of vrc lenses in this case the latest version is 1.9.1 you can just drag and drop it and click on import. So when we are done with that, you will notice that there is a new folder on the asset folder called Hirabiki. If we go into there and then VRC lenses and then into prefab, we will find a file called VRC lenses. The thing that we need to do with this is just to drag and drop into the hierarchy. As you will notice here, a few things appears on this scene. But to make all this more easy, we are going to click on this tiny little lock icon to avoid to close this window. So now, what we need to do is set up all this stuff in the proper position. We were going to start with this little white line. That is the focus point at the moment to use the selfie mode. So the idea is with all these arrows, move the focus point between our eyes. It's like a law. <laughs> it's like pretty common that when we want to take a portrait or record a video, keep the focus point on the eyes of the subject. So this is one of the best spot to put the focus point for selfie mode. Between the eyes like this, it's just fine. Now we're gonna move this weird transparent camera. This one, it's, it's to use at the moment to play VRChat on desktop mode. So for this one, this one is gonna be attached to your head. 
So, some people like to put it up on the head like here, at the side, or even in front. I like to put it on the side because it's more comfy. But this is completely up to you. Just try to not to put it too close to the head to avoid the clipping. And see your head at the moment to use the camera. So try to put it maybe a little bit far and a little bit forward, like here. Now we're gonna move this camera. This camera is the VRC lens at the moment to play on, on VR mode. The idea is to put this one on the right hand. So we're gonna move it with the arrows. But if you notice, this avatar, it's on A pose instead of T pose. To fix that, we're gonna just, again, move the camera on the perfect position. And if you notice here at the right on this VRC lenses window, we have an object gizmos tool that said move or rotate. Depends on each one, we're gonna be able to move or rotate the, the object. So we're gonna select rotate and move it in the perfect spot in the orientation of our hand. So for me, probably it's gonna be right here. This is a good spot for me. But again, if you notice the camera is quite big for this tiny avatar. You can keep it like that and use a big ass camera with a big screen. Or you can just change here on the camera scale, the size. So if we move it, you're gonna notice that the camera makes bigger or smaller. And in my case, I'm gonna put it at one. So it's more proportional with the hand. And again, we can just move it a little bit, adjust it, and that's it. I recommend to leave a little bit of a space between the hand and the camera to avoid clipping at the moment to look through the, through the screen. In a plate like this, it's already done. Now we need to move one more thing. This tiny little he thing here that is floating, that is the uh, focus pen. This is, this is to select where we want to select the focus point on the camera. The idea of this, it's like when, when you are using a phone, you touch the screen to select the focus point. Here is the same. The idea is to put this on the index finger so you can touch with your index finger where you want the focus point on the camera you're touching it. You're gonna see that later on the video when we do the test in game. So a place like this, it's good enough. It can be more out, more inside. It's completely up to you. But I recommend it to put it on the index finger. So it's like to touch a phone at the moment to select the focus point. With just that, we're practically done. I mean, you can just upload the stuff right here and ready to run. But we're going to explain you a few things here to keep the best uh, setup for your avatar based on your specification of your PC. So, here on setting, we have to select target avatar and we're gonna drag and drop our avatar. After that, we can change the camera handness. I don't know if somebody wants to use the camera with your left hand. I'm left-handed in real life and I hate the fact that you can use a camera with the left hand, but if you want, you can do it. And the only thing that you need to do is swap the position of the pen and the hand. But for this tutorial, we're going to keep it on the VR right hand. Max Blur side is the performance adjustment to make the blurry background effect more sharp with more high quality. But of course, it's going to use more of your GPU. So as you can see here, Hirabiki already put like the graphic card that you should use on each one of the cases. If you have a really high gain graphic card like an 2080 Ti, a 3080 or a 4080, of course, use the biggest one that is very large but it all depends on your graphics card. In my case, I have a 1080 Ti that it's a little bit old already. And here, Hirabiki recommend to use medium for a 1080. I have the Ti, but I prefer to change between medium and small. Like I have an avatar with medium, I have an avatar with small, or even I have some avatar with a very small Max Blur size. This is because sometimes I go into VR raves or big events with 60, 70 or 80 people so I prefer to sacrifice a little bit of quality on the max lure size, but keep my PC alive with a few more frames. But this is just in case that you want to keep the game running better. If you don't mind that and you're gonna use it to take a picture of two or three people, select the best quality based on your graphics card. But for my case and just for this tutorial, I'll be, I'll be using small. 
Here, of course, is if you want to use precise rotation, scale or position, you can just change the number and you can see how the camera change. But since we did it with the gizmo, it's not necessary. Here in the expression parameter user settings is based on how much parameter VRC lens is going to use for your avatar. Back then, when I discovered VRC lenses like three years ago, uh, VRChat only allows you to have 128 bits of, of parameters. So you had to choose between different tools and not the full VRC lenses, unless you have enough space. Now VRChat have 256 bit of parameter. So even my avatar with face tracking, a few clothes and stuff like that, I still have enough to use VRC lenses. But in case you don't have enough, it's gonna tell you here, the expression parameter usage, and it's, and it's gonna tell you how much bit it will remain after add VRC lenses. In this case, all the functionality, functionality of VRC lens use 40 bits. So if you don't want all the stuff and you want to save a few more bits, you can turn off, I don't know, enable drone mode or use the zoom that I don't know if that useful enough, but I used to turn off enable drone mode and think that I barely use. But since now you have so many parameters to use, I fully recommend you to leave all this stuff. This part is interesting. Default camera setting. This is only when you change into the avatar and you're going to start VRC lens for the first time after changing it. In my case, I like to use the 35mm focal length to 50 and change the aperture to f2. Of course, all these parameters are changeable at the moment to play, but this is just the default at the moment to use the VRC lenses for the first time. So in my opinion, I like to put it at 50 millimeter if I need to take a portrait, F2 to already have a good blurry background, the virtual sensor type, if you don't know enough about APS-C with a crop factor of 1.6 or more weird stuff, uh, I fully recommend you to put it on full size. This is if you want even more zoom with less quality, you can simulate different sensor types. In my case, I prefer to use the full size. You can select to already have depth of field on and off, or if you prefer to have the exposure on and off. Again, if you prefer to change this during in-game, you can. This is just at the moment to turn on VRC lenses. But something that I fully recommend you to change is the picture style. The picture style is like some filters that VRC lens already comes with that allow you to have something similar to HDR with a log gamma or neutral saving highlights or this filmic one or filmic two that we're gonna see the difference in game later but in my case i prefer to start vrc lens set with everything off if you want to select one of these you can do it again in game but as a way to make it default i prefer to, to turn it off and leave it on raw if you prefer to change the autofocus mode you can to selfie mode that's why the, the white line is or to detect the first avatar and keep the avatar the, keep the focus on that avatar in my case, I prefer to keep it on normal and select the focus point with the pen on the left hand. I like to turn on the virtual horizon and the grid to already have all those information on the screen as soon as I use VRC lenses. But if you think that it's annoying or too much information on the screen, you can just turn it off. The stream mode, we're going to keep it on normal because you can change between camera mode or stream mode. but we're gonna dive into that later, so for now I recommend it to use it on normal. So as soon as you take the VR chat with the VRC lens camera, it's gonna be ready to take picture instead to show it on the desktop as a way to record a video. I don't know why, but you can change you can choose if you want a disable button or not or not on the menu. If you leave it off to turn off VRC lenses, you have to hold the enable button to disable it. So it can be quite weird so I just prefer to add the button and now on the menu you will see an disable and enable button for VRC lenses. This is important too if your avatar used right defaults on or off. If you don't know about this stuff because you are quite new making avatars VRC lenses is gonna detect if your avatar used right defaults on or off on the animations. In this case it's off but as you can see it says this, this avatar animation used right default which is deprecated by VRChat. 
please enable write default to mitigate avatar interference. Uh, in this case, VR Silences is detecting that more animation on the avatar is using write default. So to avoid problem, it's telling you, hey, turn it on the VR Silences animation to write default too. So with this, it's already fixed. If your avatar doesn't use write default off, it will tell you and just you need it to leave it off. In this case in particular, I need to leave dry, uh, write default on. If you want to add VRC lenses on another submenu instead of the main one, you can here select the menu that you want to select. But since I want to add VRC lenses on the main menu, I'm going to keep it like that. Sensor resolution is important too to keep the quality of the blurry background and stuff like that. If you take pictures in 4K, I fully recommend you to select it on 4K. If you use 4K but you select HD, you're gonna see a little bit of artifacts on the picture. So, if you use picture at 1080p, select 1080p, or if you like to take picture as I do on 4K, just select 8.3 megapixel or 4K. The anti-aliasing, I like to put it on automatic, so it's gonna be adapted, depends on the quality of the world and in the game. But if you want the highest quality, you can just change to MSAA 8X. <laughs> but in this case, I'm going to leave it on automatic. With that, if we click on apply VRC lenses, it's going to be an automatic setup. And the avatar is going to be ready to upload and you will be able to enjoy VRC lens already. I want to change the default 3D model. In my case, I'll be using the Fatal Frame 3 camera from the Fatal Frame series. That is a horror game and it's pretty cool because it's related with, with photography. I fully recommend it. So I was able to find the Ripped model from the game. So I'm going to import it. But if you want to use any type of 3D model, you can. Actually, if you go into Booth and you search for VRC lenses, you will find different prefab to change the model to a real camera, something more cartoon, a phone, and stuff like that. This is completely up to you. And there is a whole selection of different cameras that the community has made for virtual lenses or VRC lenses. So, what is the best technique to change the model? You need to think that inside of the 3D model, there is a real camera on Unity that you can manipulate. So, if you put in a wrong position the model, at the moment to use a wide fucking lens, you will be able to see the camera itself. And we don't want that. So my technique, probably there's a few more to do it even better or automatic. But in my case, to be completely sure about it, it's, as you can see here, this is the lens of VRC lens, right? Right here. What I like to do is just get close into the model, like put the 2D mode of the camera to see everything flat. And I try to align the, this arrow, the blue arrow, like the border of the arrow, with the border of the lenses. So you already know that this is the limit to avoid clipping at the moment to add the camera. We are going to try to not move the camera anymore from Unity like this. We are going to keep it aligned with the blue arrow. And now we are going to go into the right part, right here. And as I said before, here you have something that says camera model. We're going to click here. And in this window, we're going to search for our camera. That in, in my case, it's here. After that, we're going to click on change camera model. And now the camera changed. With model position and model rotation, we're going to try to... Oops. We're going to try to align again the last part of the model with the arrow, as before. So for that, we're going to rotate it first, like this. Just changing the values here, you can make a precise modification of the position of the camera. And there we go. As you can see now, the arrow is full aligned with this part of the camera. So now we know that the camera is not going to clip at the moment to use VRC lenses and we are not gonna see the 3D model through the camera view. But there's one more thing that we need to change. If we now change the rotation of it, you can see this white line that is where the lens or the view of the camera is. So now we can just try to 
align it right here and now we know this is the point of view of the camera this tiny little point right here and now we can just move the camera again to try to align this tiny little spot with the center of our camera and as you can see here it's already in a good spot it's practically on the middle now we need to change something more Technically, the camera is already under position, like the 3D model, it's already in their position. But we need to move the screen. And for that, we have here the preview position. If we change again the numbers on the preview position, we will notice that we're going to move the screen. And now the screen is a little tiny in comparison with the camera. If you like it, you can leave it like this and have more frame around the screen but of course we can change the preview camera scale too to make it match with the camera now the new VR sh the new VRC lens is set it up but now we need to repeat the process that we did in the beginning go into camera scale and change it a little bit to make it match with the hand maybe there camera camera pos uh, rotation position and all that stuff we can just change it like this with the arrows and with that we are done we successfully changed the 3d model of vrc lenses and we can avoid to you the default one now this avatar is ready to upload and we have vrc lenses with our own settings and with our own 3d model now we can just go into the vr chat sdk Builder and give it a name to the avatar so we achieve VRC lens and we are ready to upload the avatar. And there you have it, ready to enjoy the full potential of VRChat with a high-end camera. It was on my main plan to show you all the tools that VRC Lens have, but this video is already long, so stay tuned for the next one in a few days. If you like this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up, feel free to subscribe, and comment what other content would you like to see here. Oh, and feel free to join my VR Photography Discord server where you can find more information related with photography, kill people to hang out with, share your work, get some feedback, and a lot of more. With nothing more to say, keep learning, keep practicing, and I hope to see you in the other reality.